Hi there, um, uh, this is probably the first time I've uh, properly recorded a film that I'm going to post um, on the uh, on the internet and um, the reason why I wanted to post a film is that I wanted to make people a little bit more aware of the um, side effects or the possible side effects um, that you can have with um, LASIK surgery. Basically, um, Back in um, December 2010, um, so probably about a year and a bit ago now, um, I opted to, to, to have LASIK surgery done in Australia, um, in um, uh, Bondi. And um, I'd uh, gone through the process with uh, three or four different LASIK surgeons. I was thinking about it for a while. And, Every LASIK surgeon I went to see said, yep, you're a great candidate, there's really no problems, and you know, you should go ahead and do it. My, um, my um, eyesight was, wasn't too bad, I was, I'm a little bit short-sighted, um, not very much. Um, I was about uh, 2 and 2.25, um, so um, with, a, with a slight astigmatism in both eyes, so after four uh, different... Um, Different surgeons said to me, "Yep, you're a good candidate." I thought, "Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this now." So anyway, I went ahead and did it, and um, God, it was um, it wasn't as um, I guess it wasn't as um, easy and um, pain free as I thought. Um, you know, when they were actually doing the um, the, the lasering, it was it was pretty full on, and um, you know, I just it felt like there was loads of pins going into my eyes. And, but quite quickly, you know, the next day, you're right, I could I could see pretty clearly and. You know, within um, a couple of days, I was you know out and about, and I was quite amazed by the vision that I had. Anyway, um, three months later, um, and over that three months, things were up and down. I was pretty confident things were going okay, and um, all of a sudden, um, out of nowhere, I started seeing these lines, lines in my um, in my eye, uh, in my um, in my left eye, uh, not just you know. A line as in a as in a you know eyelash or anything, but you know probably six or seven you know long lines that every time I moved my eye, it'd follow my eye along. I was thinking, what, what's this? This has just happened overnight. So anyway, um, started to panic and thinking, what, what, what's that? And um, I thought, right, okay, what am I going to do now? I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll ring the uh, I'll ring the LASIK surgeon and see what, what's going on in the surgery. Um, the guy answered the phone and said, ah, oh, don't worry, it's. Uh, it's perfectly normal. You probably just got uh, uh, retinal tears or something like that, and it'll it'll go away in the next few days. But if it doesn't, give us a call. So um, anyway, gave him a call a few days later because he hadn't disappeared, and um, went down. They said, "Come in, come in and see us." Went down to see them, and um, they says, ah, "Fortunately, um, it looks like you've got uh, eye floaters." And I'm like, "Right, okay. Well, what are eye floaters?" Like, well, they're little bits of um, little bits of um, tissue that have come off the, the, the back of your eye. Uh, there's nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with that. It's nothing to do with laser surgery. Um, it's uh, these things happen. Um, you know. Uh, hopefully, um, if we get used to it, we'll get used to it. No problem. I'm like, right, okay. Anyway, went back home, frantically did some um, research on the uh, internet, and found out that you know lots of people suffer from these. Um, from these fl eye floaters. Around about the same time, my eyesight started to deteriorate as well in the evenings, so um, started to get quite a lot of glare and uh, starbursts and, and halos around things. And thinking, oh, this is this is not good. In the daytime, I've got these floaters, and and, and at night, when the floaters disappear because the, the shadow, um, the uh, the light causes the floaters, I'm, I'm getting starbursts and glare. This is this is awful. This is awful. So again, I called the LASIK surgeon. LASIK surgeon. Go back and see him, and he says, "Ah, oh, no, 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 nothing to do with us. No, never heard anything like it before. Never heard anything like it before. Never heard anybody having glare or starburst or anything, which is absolutely ridiculous because we all know that you know one of the biggest side effects or possible side effects is is is, is glare and starburst. So basically, he just fobbed me off, um, which was which was very disappointing. Anyway, the reason why I thought I'd put this video on there is just to make people aware that um, basically laser." Or uh, refractive surgery is risky, and um, you know I was aware of the um, possible um, 
issues that could happen. Um, you know, starburst glare, night vision problems, and floaters. Um, but look, I was one of those people that thought it's never going to happen to me. You know, I'm a fairly healthy uh, 34 year old bloke. Um, and um, it, it, it was devastating to think that there was absolutely nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about the floaters, and there's not really much that I can do about the glare, starbursts, halos that I get at the night, other than wear RGP um, uh, contact lenses, which um, obviously is the reason why I had surgery, is that I didn't want to actually wear them. So, um, life's been pretty tough for a while. It's obviously affecting everything because you go out, you can't look at a you know, bright surface, you can't look at a blue sky. Um, it's uh, they've got all these dots and lines flying over, and um, you start to get yourself depressed and think, "Oh, jeez, you know, I remember those times where I could go out and I could enjoy, you know, the ocean, the blue sky, you know, just walk down the street and not have to worry about these lines and strings getting in the way. There's no cure. Nothing you can do. The only thing that you can do is a very, very dangerous, uh, not dangerous, but but quite high risk surgery uh, called a vitrectomy, which means that the um, Surgeon puts um, basically puts things in your eyes and sucks out the gel um, or the vitreous of your eyes, and uh, it helps the eye then produces you, its own uh, fluid back in there. But there's um, you know there's virtually guaranteed that you're going to get cataract, and um, yeah, you don't want one of them. There's also other potential risks as well, but uh, I mean it, it, it's it's unlikely it's going to happen, but. You, know, you don't want a cataract, and, and certainly you didn't think you're going to be in this position where you're going to have to do those things. So for the last, you know, nine months, I've been, you know, having to deal with the, the problems, the issues every day of waking up and seeing these lines flying through my eyes, these dots, these shadows, these uh, cobwebs. And um, to be honest with you, it's been it's been a bit of a nightmare. It's been quite tough. But you know, after you know six months of of, of really struggling with it. Um, I'm finally getting to the stage where I'm accepting it and I'm hoping that I'm going to get over it. But just wanted to, to, to kind of point out that, you know, refractive surgery, if you're going to do it, make sure you're aware of the risks because, believe me, any of these things can happen to anybody. Um, even if you, you know, you're fit, you're young, um, there's a possibility that um, issues like this can happen. So, um, interested to hear your comments. Um, good luck, everyone. Um, thanks for your time. Bye.